In this video, we're going over tips and tricks and hidden features on the TCL 20 XE. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through some really cool tips and tricks and hidden features on the TCL 20 XE. And make sure you stay tuned to the very end. There is one hidden feature that you have to know about. It is a cool privacy mode that, guess what? If you don't know about it, you would never know it's there. So anyway, make sure you stay tuned to the very end. And also, check out our TCL 20 store right here. In that link, you're gonna find some really awesome accessories to go with this phone, like awesome fast chargers, uh, cases, uh, headphones, a bunch of cool stuff to go with your phone. So check out that list as well. And before we get started, I have one ask of you. If you find a cool tip in this video that you didn't know, stop and hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps us to continue to make awesome content like this when you hit that thumbs up and also when you leave a comment and let me know what your favorite tip is. So if you could do those two things for me, I totally appreciate it. And without further ado, let's jump right in and learn about your TCO 20 XE. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite hidden features and this is how to run two apps at one time. The first thing you wanna do is open up the two apps that you want to have on the screen at the same time. So I'm gonna open up YouTube. I'm gonna close it by hitting the home button. Then I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome, open it up, and then I'm gonna hit the home button. Now I'm gonna hit this recent apps button on the left side, and I'm going to first go over to YouTube because I want YouTube to be at the top of the screen, and I'm gonna put my finger on the app and I'm gonna to swipe to the corner like this, and that's gonna throw YouTube at the top, and then I can either tap Chrome or I can swipe through here and find a different app this is showing you basically the list of all the apps on my phone that support the split screen view. One important thing to note, not every app is supported. So any app that you see in this bottom section, it means it will support split screen. So for example, if I wanted to do messaging, I could do that as well. In this case, I'm gonna tap on Chrome. And now I can go up to YouTube, find a video to play. Let me turn the volume down. So now this video is playing on the screen and I'm gonna come down to the bottom here and I can search the Forbes website and guess what? I can look up articles, I can be reading all while my video is playing at the top of the screen. So that's essentially how you use the split screen. Now, some of you are probably asking, oh, can I rotate the phone? Yes, you can. If you take the phone and simply turn it sideways like this, the phone should rotate with you that YouTube video is gonna keep playing on this side and I can continue to scroll through the website here and keep reading uh, my article. So super easy. And if I tap on this button here, it will give me the option to change the app that is on the right side. So my video will continue to play. Maybe you wanna switch and go to, I don't know, your Gmail. You can now have Gmail on this right side here while that video continues to play. So we'll tap here. That's gonna, so tap in the center, and then this, that will switch and put my Gmail on the left and put the YouTube video on the right. Now the reason you would wanna switch is maybe you don't wanna have your video on the screen anymore. Maybe you wanna keep Gmail here, and now you want to have, I don't know, your text messaging app on this side. So I can now go to messages, and I can be actively reading text messages while I have my Gmail still open on this side of the screen. So it's a great way to be productive and monitor multiple things um, using that split screen. And when you're all done, take your finger, there's a little white line in the center here, and I'm gonna put my finger there and drag it to the right, and that's gonna take us out of split screen. I'm gonna tap the home button to get back to the home screen, and that is how you use two apps at one time using the split screen feature. Moving on to our next tip. Now I'm gonna show you how to keep your screen on longer. Some of you guys may notice the screen goes dim really quick and it would be nice if it stayed on just a little bit longer. To do this, we're going to tap on the settings wheel in the center of the screen. If your settings wheel is not here, you can always swipe up to get to your app section. And then we can go to settings here and go to 
the display section and then we'll go to sleep and change it from 30 seconds to at least two minutes. Now your screen is going to stay on for at least two minutes without you having to touch the screen. So this is a really great feature to turn on just so that you don't have to constantly touch the screen to keep it on, okay? Now, moving on to our next tip, I'm gonna show you how to quickly launch your camera from any screen on the phone. Maybe you're in a text message or an email, you're doing something work-related and something amazing happens and you wanna stop and capture a picture. All you have to do is tap your power button two times, just like this. That will automatically take you from whatever you're doing into the camera so you can capture that picture. Now, even if your phone is off, for example, right now my screen is off, if I double tap on that power button, it's gonna wake up the phone and take me right to the camera. This is called the quick launch camera feature and it's a great feature to make sure you never miss any important moments. For our next tip, we're gonna show you how to use the one-handed mode feature. Now guess what? This is a long phone when you hold it, and sometimes it can be a little hard to reach the top of the screen, so you'll wanna to go to the settings and enable the one-handed mode feature, and it'll make it easier for you to reach things at the top of the screen with one hand. We're gonna tap on settings, and you'll wanna come down to the advanced features section, go to one-handed mode, and turn on access one-handed mode using a gesture. And now I can simply put my finger on the home button and quickly swipe right, and that's gonna enable the one-handed mode just like this. All I did was start at the center and I swiped to the right. And guess what? It shrunk my screen down so now I can easily reach the top of my screen to make any modifications I need to make. You can also tap this arrow to switch it to the left side in case you're left-handed to make it easier to reach the phone with your left hand. You can also, since we're still in the one-handed mode settings option, I can change how big or how small the screen is in one-handed mode. So maybe you want that screen to be a little bit bigger. You can do four inch or four and a half inch. Um, this is one of the few phones I've seen that actually allows you to customize how large the screen is gonna show up in the one-handed mode, and I love that. And guess what? Now the, the screen is gonna be a bit easier to navigate with one hand, all right? Now, if you wanna get out of the one-handed mode, simply tap on this section outside of the phone and that will bring the phone back to its full screen setting. That is how you enable one-handed mode. You can also swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down one more time, and swipe to your left. You do have a shortcut right here that's also one-handed mode that will take you right to that um, setting as well. I prefer the gesture. I think it just it's really easy to just do a swipe from the home button here to the right. It just has to be a fast swipe. Like that there we go and that's how you use the one-handed mode moving on to our next tip we're going to show you a really cool button that you'll find on your home screen that you may not even known was there that's going to really help you out it's going to help give your phone a nice speed boost if you notice your phone is running a little slow if you swipe to the left oh not like that so we're on the home screen we're going to swipe to the left to get to this screen and you'll have a button here that is the optimize button. If you tap that button, you're gonna see a cool little animation and it's basically gonna do a quick speed boost on your phone and if you notice, there's a pop-up that says 347 megabytes have been freed up. It's basically gonna check through all your apps to see if you have any apps that have been running for a long time. It'll close them out and its goal is to free up your RAM so your phone will run faster. So if you ever notice your phone is running slow, find that optimize button, give it a tap, you'll see a cool little animation. And when it's done, it will show you how much space it has freed up. And clearly right now it's freed up none because we just did a boost, but it's a great option to uh, refer to in the event that your phone starts to run a bit slow. 
Now, in the next tip, we're gonna show you how to record your screen. Maybe you're playing a cool game or you found something cool on your phone, an article or an Instagram post or whatever, and you wanna take a video of it, guess what? All you have to do is swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down one more time, swipe to your left, and you'll tap on the record screen option right at the upper left corner here. You'll need to um, allow the audio, allow, allow the media. Let's try it one more time. Oh, it's already started. You see the little red dot right here. Let's do it one more time so you can see what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna swipe down, swipe down again, swipe to the left, tap on screen record, recorder. You'll see a pop-up that's gonna count down. And once you see this, you'll know it is recording. And now I can start doing things on my phone. I can play a game. Again, I can just, whatever I wanna demonstrate, maybe you're trying to show someone how to use a, a certain app. You can just record the process. And when you're done, You'll just hit that little dot there. You'll see a pop-up here. You can share it or you can just tap. The video is gonna be saved and you can go back and watch it. You'll also find it in your gallery. So if I hit the home button here and if I swipe up and I go to the gallery, which is right here. Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, one more time, swipe up gallery okay this is our gallery we're in the moments tab and our screen recording is right here that we just did if i go to albums you'll have an album that will say screen recorder and here you can find all the files that you have recorded from your screen and that's it that's how you record your screen okay guys we're almost done i hope you're still sticking with me i have that awesome private section feature i want to show you that is one of the best hidden features, but I'm saving the best for last, so stay with me and we will get there in a second. Now, I wanna show you how to enable the dark mode, because if you notice, all the menus are light and sometimes that can be a little bright on the eyes. So let me show you how to adjust your settings so that your backgrounds will show dark and it's a little bit better again on the eyes. So upper right corner, we're gonna tap on the settings wheel right here. You can do that settings wheel or you can use the settings right here, it's the same settings, it's just different ways to get to it. And I'm going to hit the back button here. Oh, moving too fast. Okay, so we're in settings and we're gonna go to display. Next, we're gonna tap on dark mode and we're gonna turn it on. And now all of our menus are gonna be switched. The background will be dark and the text will be light and you can also schedule this. So if you like the uh, background being white for the, you know, for certain parts of the day, you can actually schedule it and say, hey, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., I want a light background and then I want it to switch. And then when I'm at home and I'm in my bright lights, I want to switch my background so it's dark. You can schedule it, selecting the schedule time option right here. But that's how you turn on the dark mode. And if you'll notice, even my menu at the top here is now gonna be dark and clearly much easier to see on the uh, camera as well. All right. For our next tip, we're gonna show you how to change your phone theme. If you hold down on the home screen and you tap on themes, this will take you to the themes section where you'll find some really cool pre-selected themes. You'll have a different background and the icons will look a little different. Let's apply the square style. Tap apply. We'll give it a second to load. And now we have this really cool futuristic background. And some of your icons are also gonna look different. So my gallery icon is different here. Let's see if I go to the phone app, that's the same, no change there but you will have a nice uh, different wallpaper and your lock screen is also gonna look different as well. So you got a couple of preset themes that will come with the phone. 
just to give it a different vibe and make the colors pop a little bit more. Okay, let's get to our very last hidden feature, the one I've been raving about this whole video. You guys are like, come on, show us, is it worth it? Let's get into it. Okay, so if you go to the settings and you swipe up to the Smart Manager, you're gonna see this boring screen here. Oh, Smart Manager. This is where you make different tweaks to the phone modifications. But if I take two fingers and I swipe up, it takes you to what is called private space. And the private space is a section where you can hide things on your phone. Now I've already enabled it. So it's actually asking me to put in either my pin or my fingerprint to get to this section. So that's one of the pluses is that it is secured. Uh, no one can just get into it without your consent. And as you can see here, I can have images, videos, audio, um, all in this separate section. So for those of you that live a private life or like to have certain things separate, that you don't want to be found, this is a great option called the private space. And I just showed you how to get to it, but I'm gonna show you one more time. Let's go home, we're out of it. So if I go to settings, smart manager, now guess what, just to prove to you this is not easy to find, if I try to swipe up with one hand, nothing happens, okay? So no one is going to stumble onto this by accident because you have to use two fingers and you have to swipe up. And that's how you get to that section. So I'm just saying, this is a pretty cool feature that will help you to keep certain parts of your life separate if that's something that you're striving to do. And very few phones have hidden features like this. So anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you hit that like button if it was helpful. Make sure you subscribe so you, you'll be alerted every time we post new videos. We have more videos coming for the TCO 20, so I hope you're not done learning about this phone. I have much more I want to show you guys. Um, thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.